Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and I have spent the last two minutes or so trying to make <laughs> an appropriate thumbnail for this video, making all sorts of faces to look to convey the appreciation for this massive, oversized hardcover. I've, I've gone with like a, oh, and I've gone with a like, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what I chose when you see the final product, but uh, I feel particularly goofy right now. Those YouTube thumbnails, you guys, I know, I know. Um, so, look, I can't bury the lead. This video is about me finding this massive Captain America collectible in Ollie's Bargain Outlet. This thing, you know, I called it an oversized hardcover. I don't even know, I don't even know if that does it justice. It's two feet tall. It is a full two feet tall, 24 inches tall, 12 pounds, 824 pages, and it had a retail price of $200. This is Captain America, the 75th anniversary vibranium collection. I gotta put this down just so I can talk to you guys without like, it's quite, quite heavy. Uh, someone, so the YouTuber J2O reached out to me and said, hey, you've covered Ollie's in the past for comics and things like that. Ollie's is getting new comics. And I was like, oh, you know, I made like the Scooby, made that noise so I went to Ollie's on the 4th of July because they were having a uh, an additional 15% off sort of like a customer appreciation thing and it ended on the 4th of July at uh, 6 p.m. I believe so it was like I gotta go I gotta see what's there well I'm taking you with me I have footage of me in the store so you're probably watching that right now you get to see the whole thing really here's the thing really nothing new there was really no new comics you know, these things are kind of, um, they're one, they're regional, and just as a matter of when they show up in the stores. So I have another Ollie's that I'm going to hit at some point, and I also will check back with this one because I've heard about some really cool things. Some, uh, some Kevin Smith Green Arrow, Walking Dead, the oversized Walking Dead collections, those look pretty cool. But th see, there's really nothing new that we haven't talked about in a previous Ollie's video, but on the end, there was this display of kind of like coffee table books, for lack of a better word, like Superman during the war years and Batman during the war years and then like the Justice League 100 greatest moments and things like that and there in the video It's just an empty slot because I yanked it out of there as fast as I could But there was this behemoth of a book this massive Captain America tome and I'm gonna tell you guys I debated this because this thing is so big that it's not practical, okay? I, I, that's that's a whole other thing is what do you do with a 12 pound hardcover you don't read it in bed you, know, you don't put it in your lap and just casually turn the pages but I could not pass it up so I called Bree and I'm like Bree they have this hardcover here it's it's a $200 hardcover and it's marked down to $39.99 and it's another 15% off of that so clearly as you can see <laughs> I went ahead and, and grabbed this thing. I had to buy it. Just the idea, me being a comics fan, me being a collectible enthusiast, I could not leave this thing there uh, and not have it haunt me for the rest of my life because this is the sort of thing that collectors dream about, you know? So, um, I don't know. Let's open it. Let's. Uh, so, I've unboxed it already because it was, it was taped up like Fort Knox. I mean, Fort Knox is not taped, but if it was... <laughs> The amount of tape that they use, that they would use to tape up Fort Knox is what they use to, to seal this thing up as they needed to because, again, 12 pounds. So this is just the outer box. The actual, oh, there's another flap here. The actual book is within. Can I do this in a video without, like, oh, knocking the camera over? All right, I did it. Here is the cover. Um... That's great art. That's like some vintage Kirby era art. And then the back is this wonderful piece of art. And then whew, <laughs> this is the spine. Uh, this was put out in 2016 to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the character of Captain America. So I wonder what I haven't done. I haven't done a whole lot of research about this title yet. I have to put this down. Cause I'm straining. I'm like, um, and uh, they uh, they put this out for Marvel. <laughs> so they, uh, I, I have no idea if it was like I don't know the print run. I don't know how many of these there are. But you guys, forty dollars, thirty three ninety nine was the out the door price for me. So thirty three ninety nine. You know what? It'd be easier 
you know what? We've left the slip case. The, the slip case. It has a slip case. It's still, oh geez, it's still in the package. Come on. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> oh man. It has a like a a thick cardboard slip case. Who is it? Come in. Oh, it's uh it's Captain America. So this is the cover, which is the same. Here's the thing, like this box is too pretty. The box may end up becoming a display item in and of itself just because it's not heavy and if it fell over, it would not crush an animal. Oh, crush a cat, you know. It's just like uh Raiders of the Lost Ark, like outrunning this falling monument of uh, Marvel awesomeness. This is the cover of the uh, the, the front of the slipcase. This is the back of the slipcase. I'm gonna hold this uh, hold this up for you guys. If you want to freeze frame it so you can see what all is included, it's in that fine print down there. Here's the thing: I have a lot of this, not all of it. I have a lot of this already um, in small you know carry in your backpack appropriate size but okay for instance so we've got captain america um you know what you saw, i'm not going to go through this it's got the original captain america stuff where he's punching hitler you know what we've instead of just talking about it let me show you because that's some iconic cap right there um if i can manage to do this Here's the thing, it's beautiful. The artwork is reproduced so beautifully and the 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 presentation, like the the, the inks, the, the thickness of the pages, incredibly thick pages. All right, I'm gonna try this. Captain America number one. Oh geez. Nope, hold on. Let me come at it from a different angle. Ugh. There, cap punching Hitler. But look at the art, you know what I mean? Like it is just beautifully, gorgeously reproduced. So it's got tons of classic stuff in here. Um, you saw the list, but it's a wide spectrum. There's actually a storyline in here that we've covered in a Serial at Midnight video. It's in an epic collection. Um, is it the Man Without a Country arc? Anyway, this goes all the way through the Winter Soldier story arc. And I'm trying to find the beginning of that so I can show you that reproduced as well. Uh, and so again, it's not necessarily something that, oh geez, this is like the Magna Carta. There's the Winter Soldier, the first story of the Winter Soldier. Jeez. It's not necessarily something that I'm going to read, but as that ultimate collectible, it's one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful reproductions I've ever seen. And like I said, that art, I'm <laughs> winded from holding this thing up. Like I said, that artwork is so beautiful, blown up on two foot pages. It's gotta be what it's like to look at the original art after it's been like inked, maybe even back in the day, cause I don't even know if they do um, so much of it's done digitally, but like to have looked at a page in 1975 Jack Kirby and then like inks on top of it and then colors on top of it to just have the whole full page like I, I see the appeal so I don't know if this exists for any other hero I don't know if this was just kind of a gamble to see how it would sell but I'm really glad I found it and I don't know that I'm going to read all 824 pages but this does have some stuff in it that I've never owned or never read and I'm really excited about just digging into it. It's got an introduction by Roy Thomas, which I'm not going to show you because I'd have to pick it up again, but it's gorgeous. So have you guys seen this out there? I guess this is also like, hey, go check your Ollies and see if they have this. Um, but uh, as, as this is the thing, you know, here's, here's another conversation that we could have. This could be a jumping off point for this conversation is collecting for novelty which i don't like to do versus collecting for practical consumption for loving that's the whole purpose of this channel i started this channel because i was not seeing other youtubers talking about things with the depth and the passion and the love for them that i wanted to see so i started serial at midnight and and that's the whole that's our message you know is like love the stuff that you care about don't just talk about buying it talk about what it means talk about reading it talk about how the story worked out you know for movies for everything that's the whole goal but here i'm not gonna i'm not gonna read 824 pages of this trade paperback this was for the collectible 
And it does raise a question, even with myself and with Bree as well. This was the conversation. It's like, well, what do we do with it? It's cool to have it, but then what do you do with it? It's just a thing, you know? But it's so representative of 75 years of the character of Captain America. And I could not leave it there to... I just had to have it. I love, you know, hopefully you guys have seen our comics videos in the past. I have thousands upon thousands of comic books. I'm a comic book veteran of 30 years. I adore comic books. They are part of who I am. And to find this at Ollie's for such an incredible price, uh, it was a no brainer. So hit up those Ollie's. If you're finding new comics out there, I would love to know about it. I, we're kind of, the, those Ollie's videos that we put up end up being kind of a network so we can find out who's finding what and where they're finding it. Now, the 15% off sale is over for now, but that doesn't mean there's not good stuff. Listen, it was already only $39.99. So $200 marked down to, even on eBay. And on Amazon, I'm seeing it for, you know, at the low, about 80 plus shipping. And to ship 12 pounds, it's not nothing. Uh, upwards to about 130, 140, 150. So it has held its value. I'm wondering what's going to happen to this in 10, 20 years. Uh, what kind of value this thing's going to have. Not that we collect for value, but it's always nice to have things that have value. You know what I mean? So, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I just had to share. I just had to share the uh, excitement of finding this and to, to bring you, had the opportunity to bring you into the store with me and to have kind of share that whole experience. So guys, hit up those ollies. Let us know what you're finding. Take care. And until next time, I will catch you later.